updating updates. RTS Online. So what do you got for us there? So I'm looking at some live bus data from the city of San Francisco. So that's coming in from a public XML feed here, so I've got an XML reader. That's going for like HTTP whatever, right? Like that's yeah. what it's pulling from. Okay. So and, and Don will be happy because we're mixing in some XML. Yep. <laughs> All right. And so then um, what do you do? You, you uh, read the buses. Oh, and then you read the data that was in ArcGIS Online. So you're reading mm -hmm. from ArcGIS Online, and then you're merging that in that feature merger. Yeah, that's right. So I already have some bus data up there, and I want to grab the latest updates and move the buses around and get the latest information. From and that's that. because we need the FID inside yeah. of ArcGIS Online so, yeah. as the key. And so you're, how are you joined? The FID is in ArcGIS Online, but what is the key of the buses? So I have a bus ID. So the ah, FID that's, here. that's a San Francisco so ID. I'm matching on here, yeah. Right. So basically, this where Laura's mouse is, is uh, getting us the FID from the ID of the bus. Yeah. And that's then right. once you've merged it, now you can go and do an update on the far side. Now, what is that yeah. bus's? How do you set the update mode on that thing? Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. So you just go into the feature type. Under Format Parameters, you set it to update. And right now, update means we're doing it by FID. Yeah, so that's the only option. You've got to know now. that. Yeah. All right, so that's good. Now, what's with that offsetter? OK, so what we've got here, um, the buses weren't moving fast enough to make for a very interesting demo <laughs> for now. So we've added in an offsetter here to basically offset these bus locations by some random number every time we run an update. Yes. So, we can so they'll movements. slowly move the right way, but we'll have kind them of, jump around a bit more. Yeah, so we had so, a few jumping into the bay, I think, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see what's going to happen here. Yeah. So now, do, how do you want to show this, Laura? Are we going to look at it in ArcGIS Online and then run things, or what do you want to do? Uh, so yeah, I'll open it up in ArcGIS Online now. Uh, to find my web browser here. So I have a map that's already prepared that uses the uh, buses feature uh, later, or this is feature service that I'm updating. Okay. So just open up the map so we can see them displayed. Do we need to check is the uh, refresh interval on for this thing? Yeah, I'll just check that right now. So I have. This is where the magic. Going. There yeah. we go. And that's as low as we can go, and that's every six seconds. Yeah. So these buses right now are just sitting there flashing because they're they're not changing. Yeah. So they're refreshing with no new information. So. So what I'm going to do instead of running this a whole bunch of times to see changes. Yeah, that would be distracting. Um, I'm going to. I've got this published in FME server already. Okay. And I've already created a schedule in here that's going to run every couple of seconds, so every seven seconds. Okay. And this is going to update the bus data. All right. And so push it straight. So that's that RTS workspace. Online. You push that up to FME server. Yeah. It's sitting there, ready to go. And what are you going to do to enable it? So I'll just enable the schedule. So this will start this running every seven seconds. And if right. I go back to my map here, you should start seeing some movement in these buses. So um, we're looking for. Oh, did they? Did you, did you notice anybody moving? <laughs> Missed it that time. So uh, <laughs> let's pick a spot. Uh, who's moving? You can take with those two there. Well, oh, I think yeah, they moved. Is, yeah. So let's even then, this is let's... a little hard to see. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That guy moved. Okay, so that proves it does. 